wink on you. What for that? Um, can we open the doors, get a bit of fresh air in here? I think people are going to start falling asleep for the heat. Um, and I'd like to invite the next uh, presentation, Woody. There we go. Not from Toy Story, I might add. No. Disney, we are not infringing on any copyrights at this moment, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with us today. It's been a very long day. I know you're getting a bit tired, but please you can keep your attention. And if you're in the back, you can keep your voices down a little bit. It's a bit distracting when people are presenting in the front. happen 
is to create a small hero. And the small hero in our case is called Woody. That's Woody. Now he's a, a small uh, worm that feeds on wood. And, but he doesn't f feed on digital wood, as you might think right now. No, he needs real wood, he needs real trees. Now, um, well, and Woody um, is very often very hungry. So, when he's hungry, he tells you, and he tells you, well, we have to get out, I'm, I'm very hungry, I need to get some food right now. And you think, okay, but what do you need? Where can I find the trees? The thing is, we um, provide a map um, that provides significant and detailed data of all the trees that um, are in Vienna. And, um, well, you have Woody on your smartphone. And when you are there um, in front of the tree, well, then there are certain actions. Then the real magic begins because we wanted people to go green literally. So we wanted them to really interact through their smartphone with the trees. And fortunately, I brought my own smartphone here. A little bigger than you do. <laughs> so, okay, there are. <laughs> there are three different actions. And all of the, yeah, every one of these actions, uh, actions is triggered by a certain gesture. So, there, the first one is that you send Woody up the tree, <coughs> there he has a harmless snack, and then he comes back, and this is the gesture. You throw him up. <laughs> so well, there is the second action. You can actually cut the tree. So you take a smartphone, and you cut down the tree. And then it's gone, and there's a tree stem left on the tree stem. And you can um, watch the, you can see it on the map, the, the, the tree is gone. But fortunately, don't worry, you, there's, there's a possibility to replant the tree, and that's the, that's the third option. So you take a smartphone and let the semen fall out of the smartphone. And after some time, we have another tree. <laughs> so all these actions have a certain impact on Woody. Um, they have an impact on his behavior. We wanted to, to show these this children that the consequences um, you can see physically. So uh, if you cut many trees, then Woody gets more evil and evil. It becomes some sort of dragon worm. And, but if you keep on um, sending Woody up a tree to get some harmless snacks, or if you, if you replant many trees, then Woody gets strong and strong, and the good side of him grows, and there becomes some sort of night worm. Well, yes, um, that is Woody. And Maybe he can also reach your heart and make it a little bit greener. Thank you very much. I'm glad they brought the new iPhone. It's um, obviously gained in size. The iPhone, uh, iPhone 6, I think it is. Uh, not seven, oh, it's a 7, yes. It's what to expect. Um, can I have some questions from the jury? Yes. Yes, you were talking about awareness. Uh, but what are children aware of when we're doing this game? You know, you reach them emotionally. Um, the children can interact with the trees. Now they stand in front of them and they make a certain experience. So this experience they can remember. They see that um, smartphones um, are not only to play games on itself. It's, they see that these two ideas of nature and technology merges, and so they remember these kind of things, and they, um, yeah, that's what they. Yeah. And I'd like to add, 
that in the game, uh, Woody can also die. So if you're a maniac and you're running through Vienna and cut all of the trees, you um, get a visualization of all the cut off trees on your map and you can't find any more food for Woody and unfortunately he will die. So it's more like a process of <coughs> renewing the nature, you know, you have to Maybe you have to cut a tree because you have to feed your worm, but you also have to um, plant a new one because otherwise there is no food left. Really, uh, really interesting and powerful presentation. So congratulations and great augmented reality. What's the um, <laughs> what's the idea for um, getting people? I assume it's an application that you download for a mobile device. So what's the um, plan for getting it out there to people? Uh, well, we, we uh, just at the beginning, it started a few months ago, so we were almost one year ago, and we, we tried to, to get in touch with people who are interested in the field. For example, we're also working with uh, universities of um, agriculture in Vienna, so we get to get all the professional feedback from them. And like um, like today, like these presentations or like these uh, conventions, we have with a platform to present Woody and uh, hopefully to, to, to bring Woody out to the people. Do we like this idea, guys? Yes? Is the thumbs up good? Thank you very much. Um, we're moving on to the very last presentation for the jury selection. Um, unfortunately, Paroli couldn't make it. I think they got waylaid through some traffic or um, I don't know, they seem to be late. They apologise, so sorry they can't be here today to present.